What's up guys? Takedown here with another comic book video for you. Today there is no real theme behind it. I have DC and Marvel. A bunch of different superheroes. It's not just one. And me showing everything I have of that collection. So to start things off, I have issue one of Tales of G.I. Joe. Amazing cover. I added that to my collection a while ago. We have probably the least... Uh, popular superhero of all we have this is a four-part series I have all four issue number one of Aquaman it's not bad to cover not bad design issue number two a little bit better all bagged and boarded all my comic books are bagged and boarded that's keeps the value where they are this is issue number three of the four part series. And the final issue number four of that series. So even though it's not the most popular, it's not something I went out and I'm going to specifically look for and try to collect. It's just something that was in the collection I bought and a four part series, so I kept it. Moving on, I have Wolverine and the Punisher. This is book one of three. This is like a 90s a 90s comic book. You can tell from the artwork right there. Nonetheless, I thought it was pretty cool. It was unique and unique enough that I wanted to keep it in my collection and I did. So that's book one of two. This is two of three. Wolverine and the Punisher. And here is book three of three. So kind of like a basic design, in my opinion, it's more basic than anything else. Still a little bit collectible. Um, back here, you can barely see it. There is a fate design in each one of them, but to me, it's the most basic comic book design I've ever had and probably the most basic one that is in my collection. Moving on. This is a high issue number. This is issue number 150 of Spider-Man and the X-Men. So this is the last Marvel team up, or that's what it says here. It's an older one. This was 125 back in the day. Something tells me it was 1984. So probably one of my oldest comic books. I do have some around this era. But honestly, this is probably the best conditioned one I have that's that old. I do have some that are the early 80s and they're all ripped and torn. This one's actually beautiful condition. Great cover. I like I like the team up comics. Kind of like this one here. World's finest comics starring Superman and Batman. This is issue number 292. 60 cent comic back in the day. DC once again. I wouldn't say I'm a huge DC fan. But I do respect, you know, some of them, of course, Batman, Superman, Flash, many more Justice League and that. To the point that I have the, and I've already shared this in an early comic book video, but now that I have an actual phone, something better quality that I can record on. This is the history of the DC Universe. This is book one. Um, book one, I'm not sure how many there are. I'm pretty sure there's only two, and I have the second one here too. The reason I like these kind of books is because it gives you kind of a base run of um, everything within the universe. So you know everything about your superheroes. It will give a list of all their traits, all their powers, all their weaknesses, who their villain villains are. And it's really interesting, those type of comics. I do have a few more for different ones. Transformers, I've already shared that with you once. This one here, what year is this? Okay, this is my oldest one and it's... 1979 Marvel 2 and 1 The Thing and the Human Torch of course the Fantastic 4 two members right there great cover great artwork Towering Infernos um issue number 59 1979 it's in great condition bagged and boarded even the staples the staples aren't even rusty on it not sure the value of it. I didn't even remember that I had this comic. I was just going through, picking out some to record with. 
and it happened to be one that I picked. So maybe I'll have to check the value of that. But 1979, that condition, that's probably the best, one of the best comics I have. This one here looks like a reprint, if you ask me. I can tell. It says issue one. For starters, it says 1986, but it says $2.50 for the comic. The second thing that's throwing me off of why I don't think it's a 19, sorry, a 1986, why I don't think it's a 1986 is how Wolverine is designed. I did have a few reprint ones, and it actually said they're a reprint, and he looked just like that there. I think in the 80s he was more of the black and blue, black, blue, yellow, but this one here is red and yellow, so... That might be, uh, I might be wrong, I might be right, I'm not a pro, I just enjoy collecting. Another one, this is issue number one of a four part series, I have all four. Once again, I like collecting these um, four packs. This is 1986, Fantastic Four versus the X-Men. You have Doctor Doom right on the cover. That is pretty good, I like that. Issue number two. Maybe I was wrong about the uh, Spider-Man versus um, X or uh, Wolverine because it looks just like that there. It does feel like a reprint though when it's that that big of a comic, but I, I might be wrong. Issue number three. Great artwork. That's another thing that draws me towards specific comics is if the artwork looks great, I am likely to buy it because I like design, I like comic, and if the theme and the subject matter is behind it, that's another reason why I collect them too. So this is number four. If I didn't already see that, I can't remember. This one here is... Not like a not a three part series, but I have issue one, two, and three of, and it's Nick Fury, Agent of Shield. Back whenever he was white, they did, however, change him to being the bald uh, African American, just like the show or the the one movie I can't remember which, um, because the actor that played it they wanted to resemble him, so Marvel actually changed the character instead of looking like this. He is completely changed. Samuel L. Jackson is now what he looks like, exactly like he did in the movie or the TV show. So, kind of, uh, some fans really didn't like that, but anyways, that's issue one. Issue number two. I wouldn't say I'm a fan of the TV show either, but I do respect the comics. And finally, the last comic, issue number three. down there so those are the comics I'm sharing with you guys today I do have more collab um, ones I do have some Transformers versus GI Joe's can't remember if I shared them before I do have some four part series a nine part series a five and six part series of different ones like Iron Man Captain America some Spider-Man so if you're interested give this video a thumbs up let me know down in the comments I'll make a video like that in the future Hopefully I'll be sharing more and more of these comic book videos for you guys because you guys seem to be liking them quite a bit. And it's a collection I just have sitting here, so why not share it with you guys? I think it's a win-win for both of us. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys did enjoy. Peace.